in my video today, we're going to be talking about the distance formula and the midpoint formula and how to use them when solving problems. So in our example here, they want us to use the distance formula to figure out the perimeter. And we can do that. So what we're going to do, first thing we need to do is figure out the lengths of each side, A to B, B to C, C to A. And we're going to follow the distance formula to do so. So when I set up my first uh, side length, we're going to have negative 2 minus 2 squared plus 3 minus 2 squared. And when we simplify, we're going to get negative 4 squared plus 1 squared. And our final answer is going to be radical 16 plus 1, which will be radical 17. So this would be our side length for A, B. Now we're going to move on to the second side length, which is does B to C. So with B to C now, let's just be mindful that our coordinates change. And that's supposed to be negative. I don't know why I keep forgetting. All right. So when we go to B to C now, just remember, guys, points change. So just please be aware. So for X, we have 2 minus 0 squared plus 2 minus a negative 3. We know that's going to turn into addition. So what we have now is 2 squared, which is 4, plus negative 5 squared, which is 25. And our final answer is going to be the square root or radical 29. All right? So that's B to C. Now we're going to go ahead and find C to A. And it's going to be the same exact steps, guys. I'm sorry that it's, so, it's the same steps. But just be mindful that you input everything correctly. All right, so we go to side C to A, and what we're going to have is 0 minus 2 squared plus negative 3 minus 3. So on this part right here, guys, just remember that both of these sounds are the same, so this is going to be negative 6, all right? So after we simplify, we have negative 2 squared, which gives us a positive 4, and then negative 3, I mean negative 6 squared is going to be 36. So at this step here now, guys, our final answer is going to be radical 40. Now, this is the most important part as we wrap up problem number one. So when you guys get into radicals, we cannot add these three sides because they don't have the same number under the radical. Only when we have the same number under the radical could we actually add it in, in this format. What we need to do in this uh, problem is to use a calculator and figure out what is the approximation for each answer. And once we do, we could use a calculator, find out all the decimal values, and then add them together. So we're moving on to the second part of the video, guys. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, just can ask that you smash the like button for us. It really helps to get our video out to more students. So with the midpoint formula, let me show you one to two reasons why students get this wrong. Number one, they plug in incorrectly, meaning if 2 is x1, negative 3 has to be y1. I've seen students have this is x1 and this is y2, so when they plug in, it's just wrong. So please make sure that you guys understand that. So when we're going in for x, we have negative 2 plus 4 all over 2. When we simplify, we're going to have 2 over 2, which is just 1. Please understand that our answer is a pair, a coordinate pair, meaning an x and y value. So let's put our parentheses down here, and we have our x. Now we go back. We're going to do the same thing with y. So we have negative 3 plus 3 all over 0. We know 0 over 0 is just 0. So this is going to be my y coordinate. And when we look at this, this ordered pair of 1, 0, this is going to be the halfway point between A and B. And if you want to double check, just think about how many spaces it takes. So to get from negative 2 to positive 1 is 3. To get from 4 to 1 is 3, right? Negative 3 to 0, it is 3. And 0 to 3 is 3. So when we look... They all had the same distance from that middle point. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. This is Al's Room with Mr. Peters. Join us next time 
when we talk about more midpoint midpoint formula problems where there are fractions involved with the ordered pairs. Thank you guys for joining me today.